Well, there are some huge events coming out this weekend in the world of sports. And joining us with his take on the NFL draft and who the Jags might be adding to the roster. Plus, we've got the Kentucky Derby, the TPC. Actually, it's called the Players now. That's uh, right. And some other hot sports headlines. We welcome back the host of iHeartRadio's 9.30 a.m. Harp on Sports, Seth Harp. Hello. Good afternoon, ladies. Seth. Seth. Yes. Appreciate it, as always. We love it when you're here, Seth. So, yes. You gave me a little tip yeah. of a hot rumor yes. in regards to the Jags and the draft tonight. I wouldn't tell these ladies. Yes. No, I said, wouldn't. I'm not telling you. I want your real reaction when he spills the beans. Now, this, I mean, this rumor is sizzling hot right now. Yes, and it's, it's okay. breaking not only regionally, locally, but nationally. And that's that the Jacksonville Jaguars may have a new quarterback. Uh, the, the latest thing bubbling to the surface is that Deshaun Watson, a quarterback out of Clemson, oh. a runner up to the Heisman Trophy, mm. that Tom Coughlin wow. is in love with him at number four. And the Jacksonville Jaguars may just go ahead and select Deshaun Watson with the fourth overall pick, and? which then means Blake Bortles has one year left on his contract. Will he and stay? And you do not use top five picks on guys you don't plan on not but investing in the future. Surprised? So is you have a mess on your hands. You're going to have a guy that's essentially a lame duck in the final year of his contract Whoa. and a brand spanking Would new quarterback. Would they keep Blake? Or? No. At that point, you'd you'd have to trade him. Now, at that is this point. a name that's come up? Because people have been floating other names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Deshaun What's Watson. Name come up? Dabo Sweeney, the head football coach at Clemson, mm -hmm. says he's the Michael Jordan. He's going to be the Michael Jordan mm -hmm. of the NFL. Uh, but that's his coach. I know. And, but, but he was pretty good. Athletically, he, was he beat Clemson. Alabama. I mean, he's one of the few quarterbacks that actually Don't remind ate me. them alive. <laughs> Don't remind me. Thanks, Seth. <laughs> no, it, it's right. He was amazing to watch yes. in that game. He really was. So, so you think they would really get – now, okay, so would they trade Blake – like tonight? That's where you'd have in that draft. position. If you're going to invest that pick in that guy, you're going to have to oh, trade you're him. Kidding. You're going to have now? to trade You'll have to trade him. For so what? What so would they? Real drama I mean, then, maybe what tonight. will you be willing to give somebody at that point? Because at that point, you don't hold all the cards the other teams do. Because you don't want to go into the season with both of those guys on the roster. Jacksonville would be the focus of the NFL in terms of pure drama. And how does this go in with Tom Coughlin's way of operating? He is a team first, team first, team first type of guy. Yeah. And just like anybody else, when they take over or run sure. something, they want their people in there. Would you see that with the presidency? Well, right? wait, wait, wait. They're not going to play. They're not going to play him immediately. There's no way. First round draft pick. Yeah, uh, what, uh, what? The, from right from college to the pros. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Wow. You're gonna have to because you can't now, have both of those guys in the right. You just can't have that. Wow. The Jags draft four. Yes. So are they expecting that Deshaun will be available and then yes. they trade Blake for another first rounder? It, it, be, they wouldn't get that. They may get a fourth or. Oh, a fifth you don't out think they get move. a first rounder? Absolutely not. Well, yes, not the way it performed like, last year. Yeah, you'd like trying to wow. say, address it a garage sale. Isn't it, Coughlin so secretive? How did this even leak out? And that's one of those things too that he may be doing that. Did you make the up? <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. No, I heard somebody yeah, can't keep their mouth shut and told me about it. No, um, <laughs> at that point, people are saying that he may be trying to drive a team up in front of him, like second or third to trade up, then draft Deshaun Watson. That way, one of the players that Tom wants falls down actually to four. The NFL draft uh, essentially is like women flirting with men. <laughs> All right, is what it is, but it's three and a half, four hold hours. Hold it, hold it. it. Let, Let me think about that. Okay, I'll <laughs> explain. Let me explain. Let me explain how that works. You're, you're, you're thin ice. No, Did no, no, you no. see the first one? No, so it's basically like, I like you, but I don't. I like you, but I don't. Do I really yeah. like you? So this is just like the movies. Oh, yes. This it's is three, just like the movies. Three Remember three Jerry Maguire? Drama. Right. That's what I'm thinking like of. It's like a draft day. Jerry Maguire. Draft day. The draft day is a game in itself. They're a lot like the ladies. Yes, where a team will express interest in a player just to get another team to move up and get that player so they can get the player that they really it's a mind work. game. Yeah. Wow. It's a mind game. Yes. Remember so, in the movies, like, you said your word was stronger than oak. Yes. Yeah. Just cut the rug <laughs> out from right under it. <laughs> so we'll, bridges, yeah. We'll move yeah. on from uh, the Jags yes. in, in, in a second, the draft, because <laughs> we have some other things. But the cool thing is Tony Baselli is going to announce the second round pick. Josh Scobie, they're going to do a pick live from uh, Sawgrass, the players. I mean, pretty cool stuff yeah, with the draft. Different tonight. teams are starting to do yeah, this now. Cool. And, you know, they bring back NFL alum guys that used to play for the teams, and they actually make the draft pick. It, it beats the mundaneness, I guess, uh, of – the commissioner, the assistant yeah. commissioner sitting up at that podium for four or five hours on right. Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. So now they actually go regional. So the, the one of the picks will be made on the 17th green at Sawgrass. I know the Houston Texans uh, are making a draft pick from the International Space Station. Oh, that's so, so Everybody's doing their so own drama God, now. And it, it, you're going to try to out 
you know, yeah, do yeah. each other at yeah, this point. Yeah. Okay. Antarctica's well, next, right? Yeah. <laughs> Think about, I mean, look at all the different teams in the NFL and all the fun stuff you can do. I do it on the water. Yeah. You can yeah. do all sorts yeah. of things. Yeah, yeah. Do stuff. So what's the story, uh, Aaron Hernandez and the Patriots, and they could owe his estate money? Yeah, this uh -huh. is Massachusetts law that, and this is really, really interesting. If you are convicted of a crime, a felony, and you are in prison and you appeal that, if you die while that appeal is in the process of, mm -hmm. of going through, your sentence is essentially expunged, it's wiped out. Hmm. You are no longer guilty in the eyes of the state of Massachusetts. So at this point, Aaron Hernandez is technically not guilty because he died in prison. Wow. Well, at that point, his NFL pension and the money that is owed, him being a non-guilty entity, mm -hmm. he can his family can sue oh, for fired wow. without cause or bring that up in a court of law, and he is owed that money. His family is owed that money. Some That's insurance crazy. policies do exclude suicide. Suicides. Yes, they do. So maybe this one didn't, but a lot of times oh, right. in mm -hmm. the real world, if what a tragedy happens. though. Oh, I mean, what a sad That's story. That's a mess. I know. Yeah. Uh, and, and this is remember, all the way around. Do so you think he knew that? Maybe he did. Was I was wondering that too. Well, that's where you're talking about. Because I've heard also his, his, well, not wife, but his girlfriend who has taken his name also would be entitled to some because of how he. Yes, and it would go to his daughter and, and how that because would all work. Because he was yeah. in the middle yeah. of, yeah. because at that moment he wasn't guilty Which will get really ugly then if you have a, a woman and her daughter hitting to the court system yeah. trying to get money and then NFL sure. teams that are billionaires hitting back over $2 yeah. million. Dollars. They've been known to do that. Oh, and they will. They will. That'll, yeah. that'll get ugly. Yeah. Okay, well, so those of us who know nothing about football yes. want to move on to TPC and the Players' <laughs> Championship. <laughs> that would be me. Let's yes. talk about TPC. Coming up May 11th, yeah, right around the away, corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, the golf course has changed especially in the back nine. Everybody falls in love with the iconic 17th ride, mm -hmm. and, and at least mm -hmm. the front of the golf course, they have a brand new entrance, a brand new setup. Really? And the, goal, the goal is to get people deeper into the golf course. Right. And they have created on this on the 12th hole, it's called a drivable par four. So in other words, you have golfers now that'll be on the tee box trying to get on the green in one from about, I think it's 350. 340 yards out and there's this big water trench that's on the left side in this bunker so they're essentially trying to create on the other side of the golf course this big dramatic hole where these guys will bring out their drivers and, and oh, try to cool. hit on and they a new stadium structure seating so trying to spread mm -hmm. some things out a little bit when it comes to the golf course giving a little bit of a facelift always improving the fan experience yep yes they and that's really exactly what it, that they, job they, with that. they do a very good job in the branding the players trying to liken it to the masters trying oh, yeah. to make it this oh, yeah. iconic image what about are, are we going to see dustin johnson i mean he is he still ranked number one? Yes, yeah, still the world's number one. How is how's his back? Fell down the steps uh, at the Masters. It happens to me all the time. Yeah, chasing his child all the time. All the time, <laughs> these these things happen. I actually saw a list really quick the other day of like 20 different athletes that have fallen down the steps before major sporting events. Now it's like okay, is that uh, true? Oh yeah. So you look at that. Fell down the steps. Yeah, so and these are world class athletes. There's a guy from the Bears the that fell, that <laughs> tripped over his dog and broke his uh, wrist about six seven years ago. Oh. Now that could happen. We have little so dogs. Common. That could happen. Yeah. <laughs> but no, he he will be back. Uh, and so he'll and be Tiger Woods not. Not yeah. coming be back, back. Yeah. Oh, but Dustin Johnson will be back. So it is, it is the field of all professionals. It is the elite field, and you're never going to find a more iconic field with more guys on it at the same time than this one. Cool. Pretty Jason exciting. Day will be back. Yeah. So it looks like everybody's going to be back for this. The only one that won't be will be Tiger. He's the winner from last year. Yeah, so. that's fine. Maybe winner, and then, then of course, look at Sergio Angelique. Garcia. Only yeah. 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 well, thing I know about. He's adorable. I like him. <laughs> yeah, Sergio. Does Sergio still have those guys who are in the, you know, the shirtless guys who follow him around and they, you know, one has S E R. Does he still have those guys who do that? I, and he may, but they weren't at the Masters. They weren't there. I, yeah. I wonder if they'll let them. I was looking for yeah, them. I was going to say, I, I Angelique is bringing them, though, to the players. And if you're not heavy into golf, the party scene out there how are you liking it yeah this that's year? that's what, and so, the business networking that always goes on oh, yeah. they, they do a great job balancing that right you, you have your golf certainly an elitist type yes. of an event and that's great it's very classy but you also have that party atmosphere yeah. WQIK, Tony Station going to be out there for Sam Hunt Military yes. Appreciation Day oh my god he is so cute oh is he coming on the chat I, I don't, I, I'll, I'll, I'll get on. back to you on that. I will get back to you on that she, one. She said, we'll work on I it. I remind her of him, so it's. I oh. don't remember saying, was I drunk? Does it, I was oh. with Bradley Cooper, I can't remember. <laughs> no, it was That's Charlie Day, actually. Bradley Cooper, for sure. It was Charlie Day, is who it was. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't Yeah, money Lego. And really quick, <laughs> listen, I'm going to be in Vegas Saturday, yes. Kentucky Derby. Who do I put my money on? Which oh. horse? Real quick. <laughs> oh, well, that's no way. I, 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 can tell you, I can tell you this, I can tell you this. 10 to 1 odds, yeah. a horse at 10 to 1 odds is one I think six of the last 
15 oh. races. Okay. So just find one that's 10, 10 to 1. 10 to 1. one. The guy who's there 10 you to go. 1. Well, that's 10 helpful. To 1. Yes, it is. That's helpful. It's, more, it's better than anybody else is going to give you. Exactly. Drink a mint julep for all of us. I will. Okay. Yeah. I will if I have to. <laughs> I'll do they have those in Vegas? I'll do, it. I'll do it. All right. Thank you, Seth. Absolutely. You know, or Charlie Day. Does he not look like Charlie Day? And sounds like Charlie Day. I can do the voice. That's do the, the worst Do the voice real quick. I don't know. I think this is going on. <laughs> I know. Always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh my God. I have them do it that in the hallway, in the hallways at work. I, I do. Thanks, Tony. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> All right. All right. If you want to hear more from Seth, maybe he'll do that impression. If you call him on his radio show, Harp on Sports, it's uh, Monday through Friday from 3 to 6 on Sports Radio 930. He's also active on Twitter and Instagram. All right. Coming up next, it is the big day in 